it is quite amazing in, in this day and age that uh, there are not many service providers mm -hmm. in the medical equipment and consumables. Right? You see a lot of manufacturers, mm -hmm. you know, and you see a lot of uh, hospitals uh, spending by government, by even more recently by private sector. Mm -hmm. And while the industry is growing by leaps and bounds in terms of spending, mm -hmm. right, uh, the service providers who are in between mm -hmm. how manufactured goods, devices get into the um, hospital are far and few in between. There is absolutely no big players in this area. Uh, it is littered with small time providers, you know. And so IDS uh, Medical seeks to really build a distribution and solution platform across um, Asia so that we can actually find the, the synergies of operations that will bring lower cost and more responsive healthcare mm -hmm. to, to the public really. And I've been involved in this now for uh, about three years okay. and uh, it is arguably one of the most exciting uh, times uh, in terms of a business challenge that I'm facing. I've applied supply chain management to uh, and the, the principles of good logistics mm -hmm. and you know um, to so many industries for the last 30 years but this is the first time not just myself but the phone group is attempting to do this uh, for a non-consumer sector you know it's medical device and uh, consumables and and the opportunities are immense huh? so one of the key areas that uh, we focus on is to really best bring the best practices right and technology that is already well entrenched in, in the West, in the US and Europe, into Asia. Asia lags so far behind. So that is the reason why uh, governments and private sector, you know, struggle to keep up with the demands of the population, the aging population, and as we become more affluent, everybody is looking for cheaper, better and more responsive healthcare. But not enough players are in the fold. Mm -hmm. It is our hope, my hope actually, that our entry into this segment in a regional and more, you know, uh, bigger way, a much bigger way than most would do it, will bring about mm -hmm. more players from the West mm -hmm. to come in and to, to really bring some sophistication and better technology, you know, mm -hmm. into play into the healthcare medical supply chain. That's my hope. Um, you see, when you really look at a hospital ecosystem, uh, it is not very efficient. <laughs> Everybody knows uh, that, you know, care, of course, the quality of care and the, the sophistication of care and all that is, is, is uh, this, you know, Asia has some of the best hospitals and government do a great job in the area, but there's less um, emphasis placed on the cost, <laughs> you know. Uh, and efficiency. I think this is where private sector and companies like us who are really masters and uh, of, of the supply chain to come in to really play a bigger role. Um, and the hospital ecosystem, as I said earlier, uh, unlike say a supermarket chain or unlike a, even a hotel chain, mm -hmm. they are very efficient, but hospitals are not. Uh, partly because it's driven by you know government who owns most of the hospitals and even the private sector a lot of the decisions and in, uh, in the early days of the hospital establishments are all driven by doctors and specialists and the idea of having good management and you know commercialization of those services has not been the main objective and hence it has been allowed to, um, you know, I suppose, uh, um, allowed to, 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 to run at a more ineffectual, inefficient, inefficient manner, which other, in, if you are in, in other industries, you'll be dead in the water, right? You will not succeed because you fail. But then this is healthcare, which is very different. But I think right now, Asia gives the best opportunity for us to, and it, public-private partnership to come in 
you know, to, 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 to really, really uh, bring about cheaper, faster, better healthcare. And it's really the objective. I, I'm excited and I think the phone group under IDS Medical System has now got a platform, uh, a distribution and solution platform that means companies on a common platform across Asia in seven countries now. Um, and, you know, within the next three years, uh, I really hope we can uh, be a leading practitioner uh, in, in uh, the supply chain practices, you know, and services to hospitals, not just representing the big brands, you know, in equipment or consumables, but I think the ultimate will be how eventually more and more hospitals will outsource services that they are not good at doing, you know. I mean, you really look at the nurses, you know, the doctors, and generally what they do with their time in the hospital, in spite of the great shortage of professionals and specialists in this area, do you know that 30 to 40 percent of their time is spent on administrative work, inventory control, management, things that can be outsourced. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, this is an indication that there's just not enough service providers mm -hmm. and best-in-class companies coming into this area. Mm -hmm. So that is really my own personal hope to see mm -hmm the sophistication of the healthcare medical supply chain uh, that will then allow, you know, specialist doctors, nurses, caregivers to concentrate and emphasize on care rather than worry about how to manage inventory, paperwork, or running a st sterile, you know, CSSDs, uh, sterilization centers, things like that. They clearly can be done by third party best in class, you know, practitioners. And they are all available in the West. They are not just here. That is a problem. Um, and, and it is our, my fervent hope that um, the landscape will drastically change mm -hmm. um, in the next uh, decade or so uh, where, where governments simply cannot afford, you know, the sort of expenditure, especially with the aging population that they can spend on, on healthcare. So this, this is, uh, as I said, um, one of the last frontiers in industry that we can, you know, through partnership with government sector, really, really come in to impact and grow in an efficient and effective manner. So my message is, uh, I hope we can um, encourage and influence more, more best-in-class companies to really join in this effort uh, for the benefit of Asia's population, particularly the Asian population, you know, uh, th there's a clear challenge there. Mm -hmm. And that uh, this um, will become uh, an industry as efficient, you know, as effective, as, as competitive mm -hmm. uh, as we have seen in, for example, the FMCG or the fashion industry. So this is really uh, a, a very exciting um, and new frontier opportunity for companies to consider, right? Thank you. Yeah.